Number 104. What is the effect on the amount of solid MgOH2 that dissolves and the concentrations of Mg2 plus and OH minus when each of the following are added to a mixture of solid MgOH2 and water at equilibrium? And then we have MgCl2. So what's going to happen to MgOH2, Mg2 plus and OH minus when MgCl2 is added? Well, first let's write the equation right? They told us that we have a solid MgOH2, right? So that's MgOH2. That's a solid. And this is going to break down. Now, does it, oh, it actually says that equilibrium. So we do need double arrows. And they give us the two pieces to the puzzle, right? We have Mg2+, plus, so that's aqueous. And then we have OH-, minus. That's also aqueous because it's a charge. And just balance the equation, right? I do see that I have two OHs here, so I have to put a two in front of here. And now we're ready to rock and roll. So first things first, this is an ionic compound. What does this break down to, into, right? MgCl2 is going to break down into two things. It's going to break down into the Mg2 plus and the chlorine minus. Now, it does not matter that we have two chlorines here. Just know what the ions are. Now, the thing is, is that do any of these ions match this compound? Because that's how equilibrium shifts are going to happen. And in this case, we have a match. Mg2 plus goes right here. So in essence, if we are adding... MgCl2, that means that the MgCl2 is going to increase. And because of that, the Mg2 plus is going to increase. And because of that, we know that MgCl2 plus is going to increase here. So we answered one out of the three questions. Remember, they want to know what the effect is going to be on all three of them, MgOH2, Mg2 plus, and OH minus. But now how do I get these two answers? Well, this comes from Le Chatelier's principle, which we learned, I don't know, five chapters ago. We love to bring this back. But anyway, this is a concentration Le Chatelier's. Now, in this case, we added an amount. We have way too much Mg2+. Plus. So when you have too much of aqueous, right, aqueous Mg2+, plus, you always shift to the opposite side. So if, the sh if the, you're increasing over here, you're favoring going in the reverse direction. And since you're favoring that direction, you're going to produce more that you're going to. So the MgOH2 is going to increase because you're going that direction. And if that's the case, what's happening to the OH minus? Yeah, that's dropping. And that's it for this one. What do you think? I really hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in the next questions. Okay, bye-bye.